Hello everyone, my name is Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com and I'm reviewing the Epson Shorecolor P400 photo printer. In the last two years, Epson has renewed their entire line of desktop photo printers with a new ink set, better print reproduction, lower cost, and added features. Printing your photos is a great way to relive your memories, keep images from being forgotten, and to show off your amazing photographs by hanging them on the wall. First, who is this printer for? There are three desktop printers in the Shorecolor P series line, the P400, P600, and P800. The P400 is perfect for first time users who do not currently own a photo printer. Another consideration is how often the printer is to be used. If you print infrequently and will use it less than 20% of the time to print black and white images, then this printer is perfect. The P400 is forgiving with regards to how often you use it and also has less expensive inks compared to the R2000 printer it replaced. If you'll be printing more often or want more advanced features to print black and white, then the P600 may be a better choice. The P800 for advanced photographers and professionals that will be using it weekly for larger prints up to 17 inches wide. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. If you have any questions about any topics, feel free to comment. We'll do our best to answer them in a timely manner. What other features does the P400 have, you might ask? Let's start off with the output types. You can choose from glossy, matte, or luster papers up to 13 inches wide by 19 inches long cut sheets, and many of those are borderless. Prints made with roll papers can be up to 129 inches long for huge panoramas. This is a small one. You can also print on CDs, DVDs, canvas papers, fine art papers, and many other third-party papers like inkjet greeting cards. If you would like to save money on paper, I suggest buying 8.5 by 11 inch sheet and cutting it to size before printing. This will save time and give you a more accurate cut. The ink cartridges are 14 milliliters each, which is intentional to keep them from going bad. Epson's goal was to lower the cartridge cost, but still keep the quality, 100 year color, print longevity, and reliability they are known for. The printer has a head capping system to keep out dust while not in use. The next set of features we should go over is connectivity. Most people will want to use Wi-Fi to connect their printer to their home network so that any computer or mobile device can use it. The P400 also has an Ethernet port and a USB port if either of those are more convenient. You can use just about any application on your Mac or PC like Photoshop, Lightroom, Photos, or many other desktop apps to print from. The P400 can also print from your mobile devices with the Epson iPrint app for iOS and Android. You now have zero excuse not to print and share your memories with family and friends. Now that we have learned more about the printer, how well does it work and what do the prints look like? Color prints are basically indistinguishable between the P400 and P800. Some tests I could see very slightly more intense reds or oranges since the P400 has dedicated inks for those colors. Overall, its color reproduction is great, especially glossy prints with the gloss optimizer. When printing black and white, I ran a few additional tests since the first print had a very slight bluish hue in the sky. I definitely would not have noticed it if I hadn't been able to compare it to the P800 print. As you see here, I changed up the settings in the printer driver box, but ended up with a black and white prints that were on the cool or cyan side. This contrasts with the P800 printer, which will give me a fully neutral black and white print even when sending the file as a color image. With additional testing and calibration, I'm confident that I could get a fully neutral black and white print from the P400, but since I have other options, I would stick to using the P800 for those prints. I'm sure this is why Epson suggests the P600 or P800 printer if you would like very neutral black and white prints or print a higher volume of black and whites. After using this printer for a few months, I have found that it is largely frustration free and overall great photo printer. The first time I used it was on location at an event I was photographing, and the first prints came out perfectly. The quality of the P400 is more forgiving when printing from lower resolution images, like if you heavily cropped a photo. The only issue I have had was initial setup, which can be challenging since the P400 does not have a screen. I was not near a store with USB cables, and the Wi-Fi was not working since I was on a public network that thousands of event attendees were using and made it crash. So my only two options were Ethernet or USB. I ended up using an Ethernet cable 
setting up an ad hoc network on my MacBook since the P400 does not come with a USB cable. Also, you must use the installer if you plan on moving the printer or changing your network settings. Epson has a few videos we can help you with setup and use on their website and we linked in the video description. Before I go, let's talk a little bit about printer care. I'll be doing an extended video on Epson Photo Printer Care very soon. The best thing you could do with your printer to make sure it lasts for years of frustration-free printing is to use it often. Make sure you print from it at least monthly, preferably weekly. When not using a printer, turn it off, remove the paper, close all the compartments, make sure to store your paper inside of its envelope or box, not out in the open, allowing it to collect dust. You should also not print in low humidity or high heat conditions. Overall, this is a great photo printer and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it or any of the Epson Shore Color printer line. Please use the link below to purchase the Epson Shore Color P400 printer and support this channel. If you like this video, please subscribe for more photography content and reviews. As always, keep shooting.